Uh, we found out a while ago something that was kind of a head scratcher to me. Paramount Plus was going to be doing a Knuckles series, which I honestly didn't think was a very good idea to do. I mean, things are working with Sonic, so just let Sonic be Sonic, you know, that sort of thing. And I, I didn't really see the point of doing a Knuckles TV series. I also, without any real information, just assumed, and you know what they say about assuming, it makes an ass out of you and you. So I just kind of assumed that this would be a much cheaper level, maybe regular 2D animation, like bad animation, like Invincible. I love the Invincible show, but it's not great animation. Let's call it what it is. It's made to, it's animation that's made to be very inexpensive and quick. So I thought I was expecting like 2D animation. I didn't expect any of the, I, I didn't even expect Idris Elba, even though they said Idris Elba was going to be doing voices. I didn't even really expect it would be that. Well, imagine my shock and surprise when this Knuckles trailer drops and number one, it is Idris Elba. Number two, it is a lot of the actual cast from the movies. Number three, Sonic himself is making an appearance. Number four, it's absolutely delightful. And number five, it looks absolutely interchangeable with the movie quality. I, I, would, I actually had to watch it a couple of times to try to find where they cheaped out on this. It's absolutely movie quality. It mm -hmm. looks like you could intercut footage from this thing in with the footage of a Sonic movie and you won't blink. The you won't be able to tell the difference. The series is shot in IMAX. And yeah, so yeah that's right. John's bringing that. It's yeah. shot in IMAX, which is kind of crazy. And so whatever, the, the trailer I thought was totally charming. It was, listen, I fell in love with this Knuckles character, particularly near the end. I liked how the character kind of evolved. At the beginning of the last Sonic movie, Knuckles was Knuckles, whatever. But as he got to the end and as he changed sides and his personalities, what was the line he said about ice cream? I can't remember exactly, but I remember I laughed my ass off when they started <laughs> talking about ice cream at the end. But they bring this in and this even the end of it, as he's literally drinking out of a pot of coffee, are you going to go save him? No, he must learn to save himself. As he's being dragged away down the street by a motorcycle. I was completely charmed by it. I, I, and I instantly got that same kind of um, flutter that I kind of get watching the Sonic movie. Just pure charmed. And I thought this looked great. And it's always good seeing the hound. Seeing the hound pop up and I'm like, that's an intake. Now, granted, granted, it's just the same plot from the original Sonic movie. I'm a bad guy. I need to get his quill to power my machine. Okay, we've been there and done that. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I got to tell you, I really, really like this trailer. And there's nobody who I was more interested in finding out what they thought about this trailer than Ray Aura. Yeah. Who loves Sonic. I know you were kind of hoping for a Shadow series, but I, 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 and I haven't asked you since I got in here today. What did you think about the Knuckles trailer? It looks good. I, I would never, you know, with properties like Sonic, I would never bet against Paramount. I think they take good care of the, the certain properties that they have. Like, um, this this trailer looked good. It surprised me. I actually thought at the beginning, is are these clips from the movie that they're showing, like clips that I don't remember? Right? <clears throat> and then they started getting into the story, and I was like, no, this is the way it looks. And it looks like they could release this thing in theaters. Um, Paramount, as, as bad as their business is going right now, like with them possibly being sold, I do like the way they treat their their headliners yeah they're very good at that i can't i hope we get to see this um tr transformers year one i have a feeling this is going to be good that's going to be good the one like, with chris hemsworth being yeah the voice yeah of just Optimus. because yeah. like i i just like the way they've been doing their properties lately at least with the turtles taking chances with the series this series has got to be a big chance for them to be taken because it looks like there's a lot of money in this series it i mean it looks like there are dollars in the screen. and i gotta say listen i'm a big fan of paramount i yeah, have yeah, been for I, the I know they struggle for a number of years but just the way they came out of the gate with like uh with top gun mm -hmm. uh the way they've they the sonic stuff the way they've handled the, the way uh, clearly they put all the right energy and effort and put their money into this knuckle series i i i i don't mind telling you i'm a i'm a paramount fan and, and let's not forget for 
Episode one, season two, Halo begins today. No, it dropped this morning. Oh, they dropped the first two. I got it. I got <laughs> Ray, it. There goes Ray. I got. I got notified earlier this morning that they dropped the first two episodes this morning. So I'm probably. Anne and I are driving out to oh, go the to the first Lakers. Two episodes. Apparently, it's the first two. Yeah, so I love that crappy show. Anne and I are driving out to go to the Lakers game because it's Kobe Day or something like that. Oh, and right, Anne, right, Anne is right. a huge Kobe fan. But as she's driving, I'm going to be sitting there <laughs> watching Halo, Halo probably. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 bucks a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer, and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. And anyway, Chris, you are also somebody I've been dying to know what you thought, because you're a big Sonic fan. I love Sonic What so did you much. think about this trailer? Yeah, I was thinking about you this morning, Ray. I was like, oh, I <laughs> dropped. I'm so happy. Uh, I think this looks delightful. And this is one where I, I like the idea of six episodes for this, because the story is supposed to be that Knuckles is training Wally, Adam Pally here, hilarious, hilarious, wonderful improviser. If you've ever gotten the chance to see him do any live improv here. Oh, so good. You're talking about the human um, character, yeah, right? Yeah. The yeah. human character. Um, who's really good friends with Ben Schwartz. Okay. They came up okay. in comedy together um and so i i love the idea of him training wally to be an echidna warrior <laughs> and supposedly this is more of a knuckles self-discovery story and so it's six episodes that do have a plot do have a villain the wonderful rory mcmahon uh the hound which i'm so excited I about know. he's gonna eat all the um, chickens Oh, gosh. All the oh, my chickens. gosh, no. But I love the idea of Knuckles figuring out who he is a little bit more because we got a taste of that towards the end of the movie, right? Of, well, you're also just like like us. Like, don't you want to hang out? Don't you want to cut loose? <laughs> and I love the idea of him trying to figure out how he fits into this world as a protector, as a warrior, as a friend. Um, I'm so excited that Sassy Smurf is in this. I am so, so pumped. Um, the actress uh, from Ted Lasso, gosh, what is her name? Uh, Ellie Taylor, there we go. Um, I love her, I think she's so, so funny. And so having her in the mix as one of the villain's lackeys is really fun to me. I do keep wondering, and I don't know how you feel about this, Ray. Um, Robotnik always had like really great sidekicks, right, in the cartoons and right. everything. I kind of want to get some of those instead of you know, people. In so Is that too much? You know, in Sonic Prime, they're doing this, uh, well, at least where I'm at, Robotnik has a younger version of him, a baby version, an old mm. version, and mm -hmm. they're all, all five of them. Just a baby. Just have, like, these personalities that I, I, I really like, especially the baby. The baby gives the orders to everyone, and they're like, you know, I, I mean, the only thing I'll miss here is because Knuckles is so detached from knowing how to live on Earth, and his 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 differences with Sonic are great to see when they're together. You know how like Sonic, he's he's gotten accustomed to living on Earth, like uh, acting with humans or like. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I I I just I hope Sonic. There's a little bit of Sonic too in this. Just, just yeah, but like, but it's got to stay. See, I think we're gonna see Sonic in the first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, true. But then it needs to be a knuckle. Series, we're gonna get right? that with the human character. He's him and yeah. the human yeah. character. Yeah, I think Sonic and Donut Lord James Marsden are gonna go off on like a little father son camping trip or something. Because we set we see some tails in this too with the yep. wonderful oh, yeah, we Colleen O'Shaughnessy rising And Humble. then do you think ep this ep episode six the end ties into the new movie? I think so because I, also supposedly Kid Cudi is going to make an appearance in here, and that is the voice of Shadow moving forward, is it not? Kid Cudi? I thought it was. Oh, am I wrong about really? that? That could be a rumor. Okay, but anyways, this <laughs> sorry, this kind of looks like it's in between the last movie 
and, the and whatever the next one will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. going to be a little in between story. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.